Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day. It's the 10th of October 2023. I'm Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets to lead you around what's happening in markets this Tuesday as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. We saw US equities pair early losses and close positively despite the escalation of the Middle East conflict, though it is obviously still in focus as it is a developing news story. Oil prices subsiding a little bit after a big jump up yesterday. And US futures are following through with a mildly higher session in Asia, with Asian markets generally following that US lead and a big bounce after yesterday's losses. Seen the ASX up around about 1.2%, the VIX dropping back below the 200 EMA, and European futures point to a higher open as the US market was still in negative territory when European markets closed last night. US dollar falls from multi month highs and testing short-term support. Gold has continued to bounce after last week's selling and again looks positive in Asia. Likewise with copper, which bounced on Friday and we're getting follow through today as well as yesterday. And oil is pausing today after that big bounce yesterday and gap up. Bitcoin is still trading around resistance level around about 27,800 and the IMF meeting is still continuing. Little data of note today out. But tomorrow we have the FOMC minutes released and US is that big CPI number. Those are the weekly highlights. And of course, on top of that, we've got US earnings season starting off in earnest on Friday with a big, big bank starting to report. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. The GB pound Australian dollar is worth a look. We did have a test of this support. We hit back on the 5th of October. You can see here on the 30 minute chart. That attempt to breach it in this morning's trading, but we've seen a bounce uh, back up over it and could be interesting technically if we start to move anywhere near this 191 level. Plenty of upside if we do that, possibly up to 50 or 60 pips in the first instance. On the ASX, we are quite liking zero, which has had a really nice bounce off this support once again. This could be moving back up towards this key level at around about 127 which it tested in july certainly some significant buying pressure in today you can see the volume already and and that move up to that 127 level would be a gain of around about seven percent on today's price so one worth having a look at towards the back end of the trading session trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now